Ah, you have come to my shrine. I haven't seen you for the past two weeks, but I know that you've been busy. How's that going for you? <laughs> Need some luck from me. Do you have a coin with you? Your wish will be granted. However, I will say that most of the hard work must come from you. If you're not going to work, your wish won't come true. Just caution you from a goddess to a mortal. I have faith that you can do it. All you have to do is be confident and believe while you're working hard. You are welcome. So, will you be going now, or is there something else you need to tell me? Oh, you want to ask me how I'm doing lately? Well... I know I should have gotten used to someone like you, asking how I'm doing and all. I'll eventually get used to it. Ever since you came, there have been a couple of people who came in and prayed, though I still don't see them again. But anyway, it's amazing how that happened. It felt like a miracle, and yet I haven't cast anything. Strange, isn't it? I guess you're astonished from my excitement because your face is telling me so. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not used to it. At the same time, I feel warm and tingly inside. You put a good word for me. Oh, you could have done that for me. Well, that was very sweet of you. Hopefully, I'll try to grant some wishes as much as I can. In the meantime, thank you. However, I wouldn't mind having our usual time together since the day we first met. It's up to you. I may be helping people, but I always have time to be there for you when you need it. Shh. Wait. I hear something. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You stay inside the shrine. Use exorcism slips to protect you while I vent anything that's lurking. Something's not right. I don't know what it is, but I'll have to assume that it's dangerous. I just hope the mortal human is safe in the shrine. Whoever it is, Come forth. I have my blade and I'm not afraid of using it. Shadow beasts? I never conjured them. If it's not me, then it means someone is plaguing the forest. But no matter. I will distinguish them through light. They diminish so quickly. It's too easy, yet something is wrong, but what is it? Ah! You mortal, don't scare me like that. And I told you to stay in the shrine. Why are you here? Well, thank you for caring about my well-being, but still, you should have listened to me. You could have been hurt, or worse, but it doesn't matter. I found what was lurking, and they look like simple beasts. Don't know where they are from, but it looks like it could have been some form of plague. It was easy to destroy them, but I have a bad feeling that something worse is coming. You see fire? Where? You're right. It looks like it's coming from your village. They're in danger. No. You're staying back in the shrine until everything is calmed down. 
I think these shadow plagues I have encountered were pawns, and they were going for something big. A mortal like you cannot stand a chance for anything that is too grand. <sighs> you will not give in until I tell you that you can, huh? If you must, fine. So long as you have a talisman with you, you will be protected. Here. Now there's no time to waste. We need to get going if we want to save your village. It looks like the destruction has just started, so there are so many people still screaming and panicking, but there are a few who didn't make it. You're right. It's not too late for the many lives that are still alive. Let's gather everyone, especially your family. That's everyone, and we managed to get everyone. But I don't know where your family went. Now don't be sullen. Maybe your family left and hardly knew about it. But we mustn't worry about it now. We need to... Oh no. Your family's in danger. No! Don't go over there yet. It's too dangerous if you get involved. I have a plan, and I promise you, your family will be safe if you listen to me. Stay behind me. I'm going to protect you and everyone. And while I do that, guide your family out of here. Now, come and get me, you cursed spawn. Ugh, just what I thought. This was harder than I thought, even when I tried to emit light from my sword. I don't think I have enough power to destroy it. I'm just going to have to do my best to destroy it and prevent any harm from the village, folks. No! Mortal human! What are you doing? It's too dangerous! You're going to get hurt! No! No, 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 no! Why do you have to sacrifice yourself to me? Please, stay alive for me! <sighs> That's it. I'm going to make you sorry, you cursed spawn! Why won't you stop? Ah! Oh no. I'm hurt. This can't... I can't believe I failed to protect these villagers, including the mortal human who has cared for me since the first day we met. It's... <coughs> it's all my fault. I... I feel like... I'm fading. What's... What's happening to me? I feel like strength is coming back to me. But how? I was about to... I hear voices. Voices I don't even know. But I know one of them belongs to that particular mortal. There praying for me to protect them. I must protect the village. I have to. <sighs> it is done. I managed to slay the monster. Now I must heal these people, and I know the first person who needs it. You're awake. <laughs> oh, you're really alive and awake. I'm so happy. What happened? You and the villagers happened. You gave me hope and strength to protect you all. And I did what I must. I thought I wasn't able to since the beast was too strong for me. Until you and the villagers prayed to me for the strength and protection... You 
You should not be thanking me. It is I who should be thanking you. I wouldn't have destroyed the cursed spawn without all of your help. I guess these people prayed because of how much I've been trying to rescue you all. It looks like it's a new beginning, now that I have saved your people. I wish there was something else I could do to make things better. A wish, huh? And what will it be? <laughs> uh, your wish has been granted. <laughs>